Hello everyone, my name is Michael Kern, an employee here at Bullet Blocker. In this video, we will be discussing the necessary steps that must be taken in order to get the proper sizing for your own custom Gabriel vest. In order to receive the most accurate measurements, it is recommended that you have a friend or family member in charge of taking the measurements. If you find yourself without a second person to help, it is highly recommended that you go to your local tailor. They will be able to help you with your measurements there. The only tool that is needed to properly measure for a Gabriel vest is a tailor's tape measure. Carpenter measuring tapes can lead to false measurements due to their stiffness and inability to conform to the body. Step 1. Chest Measurement With the wearer standing in front of you with their arms at their side, wrap the tape measure around their chest at the widest point. In order to get the best fitting custom Gabriel vest, you must ensure that the tape measure is properly leveled to the floor. Step 2. Waist Girth Measurement With the wearer standing in front of you, measure their waist at the widest point. Make sure that their stomach is relaxed to ensure the most accurate measurement. In order to find your natural waistline, place a tape measure around the center of your torso. Bend your body to either side and feel for a crease or indentation fold below your rib cage, but also above the top of your hips. Move the tape measure to where this occurs as this is your natural waistline. Front Seated Measurement with the wearer sitting, begin measurement a half inch below the clavicle notch to a half inch above the natural waistline. Step 4. Back Standing Measurement In the center of the person's back, you will be able to find a bone that sticks out much further than any of the other bones. It is very prominent and it is known as the C7 vertebrae. From the C7 vertebrae, you want to measure directly down to one inch above the deepest curvature in their back. You must make sure that the wearer is standing perfectly straight or else the back standing measurement will not be accurate. Steps 5 and 6 are only necessary for females, which means that if you're a male, you can click away now. Step 5, High Bust Measurement With the wearer standing in front of you and their arms at their side, wrap the tape measure underneath their armpits but up and above their high bust area for an accurate measurement. Step 6, Full bust measurement. With the wearer in front of you with their arms at their side, wrap the tape measure around the fullest part of their body. This is known as the full bust area.